Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. As I'm sure you can already tell from the background, this is not me playing the game. So, you know, I'm going to say that right up front so no one assumes that I'm playing it. And I want to thank the group called Clash of Comrades for letting me use their video. And I want to thank, you know, Dead Bones and Chip for, you know, playing it. I don't know how many of you have seen any videos about this game. I assume a lot of you probably have if you're watching my channel because, you know, I'm not very big so the only way that you would have heard of this game is through the game pretty much. It looks like a really awesome game to me though and I am really excited to be able to play it whenever I can. I don't know when that's going to be but hopefully sooner rather than later. You know, so it'd be pretty cool to get my own videos, you know, not have to take it from Clash of Comrades and everyone that's a part of that pretty much, you know. I will leave links down below to the Clash of Comrades, you know, sites, YouTube, Twitch, their actual website, all that good stuff. And you can also check out their Discord that I leave below too, as for Tooth and Tail. It's a really cool Discord. I can't keep up with the chat because they're constantly saying things at all points of the day. So yeah, kind of hard to keep up for me. I should think they're pretty quiet right now, so not all hours of the day. As you can see from the video though, it's a little bit of a different game. Kind of like a management game. Well, not kind of. It is a management game. And it's extremely fun to watch for me. So I hope it's just as fun to actually play. As you saw before, they would have that they picked their people who they're going to, you know. As you saw before, they bought their people they're going to be able to, you know, summon pretty much. You know, make in the battle. It's pretty pretty awesome. You get to choose uh, six different of them. Different of them. You get to, you get to choose six different people to be able to use during the game and each of them are, have their own little unique things about them like the snake has venom which is really awesome and I love it there's tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3 tier 3 being the heroes the defense stuff is pretty cool too I've not actually seen some of it in action but the mines and the barbed wire are really cool. There's also two other playable characters besides the two that you see here. I don't remember their names though. I know Hopper. That's it. That's the one in the red. That's Dead Bones. And Hopper is a female with one arm. A little bit of a backstory here. She cut off her own arm to feed her people. That's amazing. That's... That's... That's just amazing. <laughs> As you also saw, by now, I'm sure you would have, of course. You have to buy different farms so you can keep feeding your people. And you, uh, and you have to make sure to protect your farms, of course. You know, it's like tower defense type of thing in that, that area. That's why you have the people and the defense stuff, of course. Then you have to attack the other person's farms so that you can expand more basically and keep them from expanding and feeding their people and then eventually like you see at the end not sure when that would be but when you see it you'll know it because oh it's amazing I like the end screen it's always the same people at the end but they're just wearing different colors it's pretty cool though I like it because they will feast Something I forgot to mention in the beginning is that the four different characters are the civilized, which is not shown, and the long coats, which are not shown, shown as well. Then there's the KSR, which is green and chip. Then there's the people that Ted Bones is playing, and they are called the common folk. Right now, they are really my favorite, followed by the long coats and the KSR. Then the civilized. Other than that, I really don't have 
any more information to share right now because I haven't actually played it myself. So I'm just going to shut up and let you watch the rest of the video, which is now going to be unmuted so you can actually hear them talking. I don't think it's actually dead bones or chip because it's just like, you know, an over, a voiceover. That's it. That's what I'm doing. But it's going to be from different people. So if you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like or comment down below or both. And don't forget to su subscribe to see more, hopefully, of this game when I can actually play it. And I will talk to you in the next video. It hasn't finished yet, so Chip has a huge timing hit. Uh, look at that squirrel just tanking the machine gun nest because he has two pigeons to support it, and Chip is just going to roll on through. Deadlands is. Uh, Boar is finished, but Chip, I think, has more than enough units to just. Okay, he's going to back off a little bit once the player's safe, but this fox can just poke away at the boar forever, and Deadlands is on three farms, Chip is on four. Chip is just gonna, he needs one more shot to kill this ball. There it goes, it goes down, and now Deadlands, what does he have? He has nothing, so Chip from space. Winning game one against Deadlands.